I octane fuel. I know that RC cars, some of them use fuel. Oh, almost tripped and ate it. Oh, have you open a door without spilling coffee and filming, huh? Use the other hand. <laughs> How you guys doing? Happy Monday. I hope you guys did some RC car stuff. I know I did. If you saw my picture, I opened up the Hoonigan car. Street sweeping, so we gotta move the car right now. Get in this thing. Let's move. I'm not hitting my mirrors. All right, well, I hope you guys are good. The older I get, the more hardcore I look. Let's not kill the car. Loading the key of the car. All right, that's probably good. And right, now we gotta go get the Keys back won't lose. Those keys. All right, back out again. What does this have to do with RC cars? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. It's just a vlog. All right, there's your RC car. There we go. Kind of got it all situated. It's not completely finished in here, guys, but let's just check it out. We got the hardwood flooring in. Let's see if we can get some in this wider angle. We have pictures and stuff to go up and some graffiti art to do behind that wall right there. That's why it's still got masking tape. But nice, it's clean. I mean, for the most part, I still have boxes of stuff. We're trying to consolidate because we have not a lot of room. So this is what the addition is. So tune in later on today because you're gonna see this whole portion right here change. We're going to eliminate this rolling cabinet and I'm putting a bigger cabinet here that'll take up more space but give me more storage and it's got more desktop. It's just gonna be a lot better. Yeah, so we're getting there. I mean, it's not, it's not too grandiose. We just had to paint everything and make it clean, you know? Make it all nice and clean for Weston Pike to be on the wall. If you guys don't know who Weston Pike is, go check him out. Um, I don't believe he's even racing Supercross anymore. He, he had a pretty bad crash. Smashed his whole cranium really bad. Ooh, not cool, but he's got a girlfriend, Kelly Ackland, Iceland. Um, might be his wife by now. She's an amazing lady. She stood by him the whole way, and uh, that's good people right there. All right, let's go get that truck. It's a long way to my car. Truck number one. She's going into the shop today to get some stuff down there. She needs, she needs help. This is the rental because I crashed the Tesla. No key in this one, huh? Uh -oh. Grab the coffee. Don't drop the coffee! Want to see the e-brake in this thing? There's the e-brake. I have one of these in my Chevy. In this truck, I always go here to grab this that's not here. And I'm always doing this with the e-brake. I don't know, Ford. I get it, but you save a ton of money by doing that. All right, let's go move this thing. Let's move this other truck. Well, this is move truck day, huh? I might as well give you guys a taste of real trucks and cars, right? RC cars are emulate, supposed to emulate some of these things. I don't know. Anybody want to buy a convertible Eclipse? It's really nice and it runs. You guys ever like just leave your coffee cups in your garage or about, oh, look at all that coffee too. Shh, abandoned from yesterday. All right, walking back. Get another car. It's street sweeping, by the way, so I'm trying to be trying to be a good, a good guy, you know. Not be dead. This is really not even an RC channel. It's like an RC vlog channel, right? Like, yeah. Rarely am I doing RC shit. I'm just like pictures and like stupid crap that I do. Dumb. I don't know why. Because RC car filming sucks sometimes. I don't know. I just mean, yeah, a club. I have a club. Believe it or not, I do tourist fuckers. Um, Fookers. Fookers. Not, not the other Fookers. The Fookers. Uh, I just, I don't know. I just sometimes vlogging out. Kind of finding what an RC guy is. RC guy. Are RC people just doing RC all the time? Or do they have a real life? I think some people get caught in the glamour of like, you know, RC stuff. Like, oh, these guys are million ganillionaires and that's all they do is they play with RC stuff. Um, I got caught in that for a little bit, so I'm not gonna lie. 
but it was like a birthday present. It was like, okay, you turn 50, go big for like six to eight months, and just lose yourself in it, and then get back to business. You know, uh, do that midlife crisis crap, I guess they call it. I just call it having fun and staying young. You know what I mean? Tight squeeze up in here. Up in here. It's crazy. Look at how much of the front end of my truck is. You can't see jack diddly. Now watch. We're gonna go right to the Ford. Watch. Here we go. Look at that. Look at the difference. You barely see the hood. You see a lot. It's just tapered down and you see a lot of the road. Really cool. Look at that. From back here, look at that. That's amazing. That's really cool. Are we going to fit in there? I don't know. That looks pretty freaking tight. Looks like, looks like we're getting close, huh? Here we go. Let's see here. Smash the truck on TV. I just want to get out of the road so the dude can do a sweep with the street sweeping. Oh man, this is tight. Huh? Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, we're getting tight in there. Good enough. Good enough for me. Dude, you can't get my driveway. I don't give a crap. I can do my own driveway. It's already clean to keep it clean. <laughs> Too many cars. My Chevy's at my work, so imagine that. Bad. I'm just not utilizing my garage to the fullest. She could get a car and play with it for just three minutes. And there she is, in all her glory. The background is actual inside of the box, you guys. Inside of the box is the, the playground for Hoonigan, so you just have to be real gentle and cut it open. Did the best that I could because they glue it. That's the only problem, they glue it. So I probably could have like used the heat, but I don't want to, um, I don't know, just whatever. It is what it is, right? Just glue it back and you would never know. But super cool that they give you this so that you can film it. I do have a battery in here. And the way these turn on, I was looking for the switch last night. You just plug it in, make sure you have your, your transmitter on and it will receive it. That's how there's no switch. You just plug in the beans. All right, there she is. I gotta pee, now we're gonna drive. Well, I decided to go with some nice audio. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. All right, so these are the team associated parts that come on it. This stuff is pretty, this pretty sturdy. This, this chassis, everything feels real, real sturdy. Um, yes, there's plastic parts. Plastic is, is good. Plastic is very good for you beginners. And all you vets know that plastic is good, especially the plastics that are made nowadays. The polymers are really strong and flexible. There is some crap out there, so the people who, if you find RC cars that are super, super cheap and they look almost identical, most likely the materials that are made within the manufacturing are just less than. All right, looks like we're good. The reason why I know some of this stuff about the chemicals and raw materials is I'm in the chemical industry. And so I, when I buy materials and I'm sourcing them, I can um, order offsets, chemical equivalent. So basically every part of this car is made with chemicals. I mean, from the plastics, uh, even some of the metals that they use, they have to introduce chemicals into the process. Well, you can buy chemicals that are pretty much structurally the same, but just not the same um, consistency or as far as the, um, they don't have the same viscosity or specific gravity. And so that's where you can get an inferior product, you know. You see it in some of the cheaper cars, you might see the exact same model car like a real car that you drive, but the interior, some of the plastics seem cheaper. When you get in another one, you're like, hey, why is this different? This seems like really nice. My car's not like this. That's because with the $10,000 uh, add-on, they're not just doing the motor maybe. You might even get the same motor and just better interior. And that's because the plastics, the materials, the fabrics, the textiles, all that, just better made. So, so 10 minutes of talking and now we're finally driving. Oh, wow. Again, I'm driving with a middle finger. Middle finger for somebody. Wow. So you can set the brake up on this thing. This, the reverse is set up way too touchy and uh, not enough brake. There's no brake, watch. Hold on, let's try that again. Yeah. 
and then all 100% of braking power. Yeah, no good. Let's go off-roading. It's four-wheel drive. Oh. See? Open diffs suck. It's not off-road, bro. Why are you disrespecting Ken Block? Because Ken Block would do some shit like this. Oh. There we go. Let's see. Uh, horrible filming, sorry guys. Oh, I just hit my toe and I didn't get any of that on film, damn. Oh, here we go. That's, it's horrible, I'm not getting any of it. All right, wide, we're going wide, sorry. So get ready to jack up your whole screen. No, it'll, I'm gonna have to edit. It's gonna be horrible. It pushes a lot. I guess all the four-wheel drives push a lot, don't they? Most of them. Oh! I went left when I should have gone right. That sucked. Yeah, look at that. It did boo-boo. Didn't do too bad, but it definitely scratched up that nice body. It's not what I'm trying to do here. I don't want to ruin this thing. I don't even have the little thingies up here. This is why they don't like to drive RC car and film. It's just not fun for me because I got to turn the wheel like this and then it sucks and I don't have like it Yeah, I'm just not doing that right now. So bleh. Well, like I just said Videoing if you don't have a, a camera set up on your car POV style or you don't have it on your controller it Sucks and it wasn't set up. It's a brand new car. All right. Go out like subscribe, please Appreciate the new subscribership, by the way. If you're new to the channel, really do appreciate it. Uh, go to your bell icon right on the right the corner and hit it, and it'll say personalize, and click that one because then you'll see more of my notifications when I post pictures and videos. All right, I have other channels, but we're not going to talk about those right now. Top that podcast. Top that podcast. Top that podcast on YouTube. All right, thank you guys very much. I will talk to you guys later. Like I said, watch for a post later on because we're going to put that desk that we're talking about over there in the RC room. All right. Have a great day. Happy Monday.